Hello, welcome back to Bruce's investing series. On Monday, April 26, Tesla will be announcing their earnings for quarter one 2021. And before the earnings was announced, let's recap on what happened to Tesla in quarter four 2020. Tesla in quarter four 2020s is able to generate about $9.3 billion in revenue here. That's a 46% jump year over year. Out of the $9.3 billion here, $401 million are from these zero emission credits. What these are is governments around the world would award auto automakers zero emission credits based on how many zero emission vehicles they sell. Tesla receives more, more zero emission credits than, than let's say GM and Ford because Tesla sells 100% zero emission vehicles. GM and Ford, Toyota, have to have to buy these credits from Tesla in order to, to to continue operate the business. Tesla is smart by saying, "Okay, we got way more credit than we need. Why don't we sell some of these to generate more cash? That way, we can use these free cash to you know accelerate our investment um, projects for the future." And if you look at the gross profit here for Tesla. It's at two point about two point two billion dollars, a fifty six percent increase for the automotive gross mar gross margin here. And if you look at their total revenue here for the year twenty twenty, it's at almost at eleven billion dollars, forty six percent jump. And I did a calculation here where let's exclude Tesla's um, gross gross margin for 2020 uh, for quarter four 2020 so how I calculate is this I take two two thousand oh six six minus the 401 million in zero emission credits divided by by the um, automotive revenue which which gets me a 17.88 percent gross margin for their vehicles excluding the zero emission credit. This is very impressive already. And if we look here, operating expense went up because they produce more cars. The income from operation have went up 60%, which is again, absolutely amazing news. The earnings before tax, interest in tax have increased 57%. And for quarter four 2020, including zero emission credits, Tesla is able to to, to um, have a 157% increase in net income on a year-over-year -year basis. In quarter four, they have $270 million in net income, $903 million in net income for quarter four. And over here in financial summaries here for Tesla, if you look at qu quarter over quarter, they went from, if you look at from year-over-year -year side, their automotive revenue was $20.8 billion in 2019 in 2020 it was 27.2 billion dollars that's despite a global health issue despite chip shortages despite shutdowns tesla is still able to beat their revenues which is very impressive you know if you if we, if we want to calculate the uh, the gross profit without any uh, zero emission credit that was in credit sales so what we do is this we take the auto the automotive gross profit 6977 minus the 1580 in zero emission credits divided by the by the automotive revenue here gives them a 9.81 percent gross profit which is absolutely amazing news here And their income from operation in 20, 2019, their income from operation was a loss of $69 million. In 2020, the income from operation is almost $2 billion. They went from losing $69 million in operations to $1.9 million, $1 billion in operation. That, that is, again, very impressive for Tesla. And some financial summary here is this. In quarter four, Tesla's revenue grew 46% year over year. 
primarily achieved through sustain, substantial growth in the vehicle's deliveries in other parts of the business. Tesla's uh, average selling price per car has gone down 11% because, um, all because you know their product mix you know have shifted from the Model S, Model X to more affordable Model 3, Model Y. As Tesla, you know, in the future launching more and more photo vehicles, expect the average selling price to fall because the Model S and the Model X, these are, what, $80,000 cars to $100,000 plus to Model 3s and Model Ys, more than the 40s to 60s thousand range for, for those vehicles here. In quarter four, Tesla's operating margins was 5.4%. Again, pretty impressive for consider how young this company is. Now let's get down towards the operation. In quarter four, 2020, Tesla produced 16,090 Model S and X. That's a 10% drop. I mean, the Model S and Model X, I don't expect these number here to have any crazy growth in the future. If you look at the Model 3 and Model Y production, quarter four was 163,660 cars. That's an 88% increase in, increase in production. And if you get on down to deliveries, they deliver 18,966 Model S and Model X. That's a minus 3% in year over year. I don't expect, again, I don't expect much Model S and Model X being delivered in the future. If we, if we look at the Model 3 and Model Y, the growth is 75% increase in delivery on a, on a year-over-year -year basis. They went from 92,620 to 161,701, 75% increase. Absolutely amazing news here. Now let's get down to Tesla's energy side business. If you look at solar deploy, they deployed 86 in quarter four 2020, a 59% increase year over year. Again, very impressive. Mobile service fleet increased 11%. Again, very impressive because as more as Tesla selling more cars, they need to be able to service those vehicles more efficiently. So therefore, more mobile service fleet makes more customers happy by buying their cars. And if we look at charging stations, Tesla's in increased the charging station 41% year over year if you compare quarter four 2020 to quarter four 2019. Went from 1,821 supercharging stations to 2,564 supercharging stations. That's a big jump over here. Again, for the, for the future years, as Tesla delivered more Model 3s and Model Ys and more affordable electric vehicles, they need more charging stations in order for this to, you know, trend to continue in the future. They also are adding more connectors in the in the supercharging stations. If we look at quarter four 2019, it was 16,104. If we look at quarter four 2020, it was 23,277. That's a 45% jump here for connectors. Now let's get down to the capacity for production. In Fremont, California, they're able to produce 100,000 Model S and Model X a year, half a million Model 3s and Model Ys. In Shanghai and China, they can produce 450,000 Model 3s and Model Ys. And in Berlin and Texas, they're still under construction. We have the Cybertruck coming soon, the, the Semi, the Roaster, and also future product over here. Over here in Shanghai, Tesla can produce 250,000 Model 3s per year. Model Y, they start producing over there in late 2020. And right now in the process of ramping up the full capacity in quarter four. Their Tesla's, Tesla's European market share has increased in 2020. And Tesla believes that the Gigafactory in Berlin should enable a significant increase in our local delivery. Similar to what we, we saw after construction Gigafactory Shanghai. 
building up our Berlin factory continues as planned and we are already move, started to move machinery into the building that is very very fast in, in building here and Tesla's full style driving is becoming more robust again very very impressive here Tesla's launching some more games for, for their for their cars here for people to play some more softwares and also here in quarter four Tesla announced that the Model 3s and Model Ys have a they're gonna improve their, their heat pumps for better winter range these changes enable five times more more high speed quarter Five speed, five speed quarter miles runs than previous architecture so therefore Tesla it's improving their their cars so that you know if you live in colder colder regions of the US or any other country you can use your cars more efficiently and Tesla's announcing that in, in um, quarter four the performance version of the Model S and Model X are replaced by the Plaid featuring a tri-motor powertrain with a unique high speed high mode power motor model s plaid is the fastest acceleration accelerating production car ever made has a, has a zero to 60 miles per hour in less than two seconds and they're able to finish a quarter mile on and they're able to again even is even stating that it's faster than the bugatti chiron that that tells you how how, how insane tesla's engineering is look at here the Model S Plaid, 0 60 in 2 seconds. You can finish a quarter mile in less than 9.3 seconds. It's, it's, it's faster than all these gas powered cars here, except for the Model S Performance. Again, they're replacing the Model S perform, Performance already. Energy storage here has grew massively. If you look at here, an energy deployment here in gigawatt hours. Look at this from 2015 to 2020. Massive, massive in increase here. And some of the outlook Tesla said, we are planning to grow our manufacturing ca uh, capacity as quick as possible. Over the multi-year horizon, we expect to achieve 50% average annual growth in vehicle deliveries. That's a very, very big statement they're making here. In some years we grow, we may grow faster, which we expect to be in the case in 2021. The rate of growth will depend on our equipment capacity, operational efficiency, capacity, stability of the supply chain. And Tesla says that we have sufficient liquidity to fund our product roadmap, long-term capacity expansion plans and other expenses. That is very good news to hear because you know, in, in the past two years, you know, there was a lot of worries about Tesla going bankrupt now. Tesla's very unlikely to go bankrupt now. And Tesla says that we're currently building Model Y capacity at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. They're remaining on track to start deliveries from each location in 2021. This is a very big news here. In Shanghai, they continue to expand their factories and the semi trucks will they, they're they're promising to deliver in 2021 we don't know when in 2021 but they're stating that they will deliver in 2021 here are some charts here so in quarter four 2020 tesla announcing that they're refreshing the model s look at that yoke steering wheel here look at this the back seats here and there they're redesigning the interior the exterior of the model s Here's the Model Y diecast in Shanghai. Look how big these machines are here. Like I me, mean, here's a person, here's the machine. Here's the stamping area. Here's the body shop. Here's the assembly line. Here's the so the model so the Model Y factory. So it looks like it's back here and the Model 3 is it's over here. Look how big this factory is. And look at this progress in Berlin. 
they're making this this was quarter four 2020 they're building this factory in berlin germany look how look how much progress they're making already some of the model y interior here yeah more picture of the interior and here's the most impressive one look at austin look at um in austin texas three months ago it was just dirt here just nothing here this was quarter four 2020 look at the progress they're making here absolutely amazing and if you look at tesla's net income chart look at this they're burning they're losing money losing money make make some money make some money losing money losing money and one two three four five six in the past six quarters here they, they've been delivering net income already in vehicles delivery from 2008 quarter one 2018 to quarter four 2020 look at the jump in growth here again absolutely amazing news they are free cash flow positive for at least three quarters already again very very impressive news now get down to financial statements If we look at here, they have 52,148 52, value in millions in total asset and total liabilities. If you take 52,148 in total assets divided by 28,418 in total liabilities, this gives me you know, the total asset to total liability ratio of above one. That's a very good sign to see. Their total current assets twenty six thousand seven hundred seventeen. Again, their current ratio, you know, you take twenty six thousand seven hundred seven hundred seventeen divided by fourteen thousand two forty eight. That gives you above one. Stephen Cash flow. Look at the, look at the operating activities in the past past five quarters. Except for quarter one 2020, they are, they've been positive cash flow from operating operations. That's very good news here. And let's jump into the Tesla's uh, vehicle delivery reports. In quarter four 2020, Tesla announced that they are able to deliver 18,920 Model S and Model X, 161,650. Model threes and model Ys. And in 2020, they delivered 57,039 Model S and Model X. That's the very, those are the very expensive cars. Model threes and model Ys, they delivered 442,511, almost half a million cars in 2020, which is an absolute amazing news after, despite chip shortage despite a global health issue tesla is able to re to achieve record deliveries here that's very impressive for a young company and if we look at the most recent reporting here tesla is not producing the model s and model x for quarter one 2021 because they're retooling their factory to produce the new model to s and model x but they're able to deliver 2020 cars from possibly the um, orders from the previous quarter and they were and they're probably not able to deliver in the last quarter so therefore therefore they're able to deliver in quarter one 2021 but if you look at here the model threes and model y's that's that's a big record jump let's look at here go back to here the model threes and model y in quarter four 2020 was 161 1650 deliveries quarter one 2021 was 182,780 cars here that's a massive massive jump from quarter to quarter now here are my conclusion to to this up uh, to this recap on tesla's um, previous quarter earnings let's start let's start first what can cause tesla stock to go up after the earnings was announced on Monday, April 26. If Tesla reported a higher vehicle margin, that could cause Tesla stock to potentially go up. And 
the biggest driver for Tesla stock to go up is what are the progress on Berlin and Texas? If those progress are amazing, they're you know they're able to achieving majority of the completion already, that can possibly drive the stock to go up. Semi truck progress, because if you go back here for quarter four earnings here, scroll up the top. They they are um, they are expecting to deliver the semi trucks by the end of the year. If they're able to deliver semi trucks earlier than that, that could drive Tesla stock to go up. And also the Model S and Model X, the refresh progress. What is what is the progress on that? And another big driver for the stock to go up possibly is the uh, energy side of the business. How much battery pack they have installed? How much battery walls, power walls they have installed? And also how much solar they deploy. So to sum up, what was the biggest driver for Tesla stock to go up on Monday? Energy side, Model S and Model X progress, semi trucks progress, and the progress in Berlin and Texas. Higher vehicle margin. And if, and if we look at the previous quarter announcing here, in the previous quarter, Analysts were expecting they, them to deliver a dollar and three cents in earnings per share, but Tesla only announced um, 80 cents earnings per share. And if we look at here, quarter four, they have a record deliveries here for quarter four. They have a record delivery in quarter four for Tesla. They reported point, uh, 80 cents earnings per share. I expect Tesla to to report a number, you know, to be slightly higher than 80 cents earnings per share. That's that's what I'm expecting. Now, let's go down to what can possibly cause Tesla stock to go down. If Tesla's vehicle margin decline in on Monday, then that could possibly drive the stock to come down even more. Because Tesla vehicle Tesla's vehicle margin could decline because again we had a chip shortage due to you know due to people staying at home and technology servers are on high demand. If Tesla says that, you know, they are they had spent more money on chips, and that then that could possibly be driving Tesla's vehicle margins go down. And also if the progress on the Berlin and Texas Texas factory is slowing down and they're not making much progress from the previous quarter, that could potentially drive Tesla stock down. Now, now here's what what I I, I got to say about Tesla stock. Tesla is it's it's one of the most volatile stock there is there is to own, and um, if you can't handle volatility, then this stock is probably not for you. And here's what I would do with Tesla. Right now, I already own a lot of Tesla stock already, and um, I will. I will buy buy more Tesla. I will buy more Tesla if it falls falls to the five hundreds. I'll buy heavy here if the Tesla falls in the five hundreds. If Tesla goes up again to the nine hundreds again, I will hold. I won't buy. But. For those who doesn't own Tesla and you're interested in buying Tesla stock, again, this is not financial advice. This is just entertainment purpose only. I would I would say, if you're a a believer in Tesla and you want to see Tesla growth, I call it like the filing cabinet stock. If you buy it, just pretend you never even spend that money. It's just putting your, those stocks in the filing cabinet and just watch it grow from. You gotta give it, give it, you know, many, many years. I would say at least five years. I think Tesla stock can do much higher than today. And this stock is gonna be very volatile for the next five years. And I'm gonna say this again: if you are sensitive to stock volatility, then 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 Tesla is probably not a stock for you. But if you are able to tolerate volatility, then Tesla is you know not a bad stock to have. 
and that's it for the for this video and if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe for more future content in the future